Senate Bill 9 passed and went into effect January 1st. Now you can build four homes on a lot that was meant for one. Sam Fernley here with True Door Property Management, creating content for realtors and property owners here in Southern California. Please hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this page if you would like to hear more about your industry. Here are three examples of how SB9 can be used to your advantage. One way is to add new homes to an existing parcel. Another is to divide an existing house into multiple units. Now the one that I feel will be most popular choice for property owners is to split your parcel into two and then add more homes. Now of course when you pass a bill that ultimately creates housing, it will also come with restrictions. Agencies may require one parking space per unit unless it's a half a mile from a high quality transit corridor or a major transit shop. And we all know how tight parking can be here in Southern California. Some agencies must require that units created by SB9 are not used for short term rentals, meaning anything less than 30 days. Also, HOAs may have a say into it, so just make sure you are an approved property before moving forward with anything. Now, those are some of the restrictions for SB9. Now, some of the qualifications that come with SB9 and doing a lot split require a build of 1,200 square feet on any new construction, and these projects must be for residential uses only. I can go on and on about the limitations that SB9 brings about and also the qualifications your lot may be subject to. But if you click on the link that just popped up on the screen, this will take you to a video that goes more in depth about SB9 and illustrates zoning restrictions that may come into play when assessing your property. And if you need help managing your property, then please call True Door Property Management, where we bring you more money with less drama.